Guys, I haven't had lights in my apartment or electricity in my apartment all day. And oh I'm getting God, really, really scared. And I started thinking about all the scary stories that my grandpa used to tell me when I was little. Do you want to hear it? Just, okay. Yeah. Keep it down. Okay, sure. okay. So one day, a little boy was digging in his garden and he came across a big toe popping out of the soil. So the little boy went over and tugged on the toe, but it wouldn't come out. And finally, he yanked it out and it came off in his hand. So the little boy, he then took the toe into the kitchen to show his mother. And his mother said, oh, that toe looks nice and plump and juicy. We'll put it in our soup and eat it tonight for our dinner. So that night, the dad pulled the toe out of the soup and cut it into three pieces and they each ate a piece. Oh. Then they washed the dis dishes and they went to bed. Later that night, the boy heard a voice calling from outside of his window. Where's my big toe? <laughs> and the boy thought to himself, oh, he doesn't know that I'm in here. He'll never find me. Well, then a little while later, the voice came by a little closer. Where's my big toe? The boy put his blanket over his head and hid, uh, hid under his blankets. He's like, I'll just close my eyes. And in the morning when I wake up, it'll be gone. And then all of a sudden, he heard the creak of his back door open. <laughs> Where's my big toe? Oh, the boy really got scared then until he started hearing the sounds get closer and closer. It moved through the kitchen, through his dining room and up the stairs and ended right at his bedroom door. <gasps> Where's my big toe? <laughs> the boy cowering under his blanket, looked up to see the scary image come through the door. Where's my big toe? And the monster threw open the blanket and said, you've got it! <sighs> hey! <laughs> oh my God, my lights just came back on. Oh my God, that's so amazing. I'm glad you got your lights back. That's you know, I great. have a good podiatrist for your ghost friend. Are you in the bathroom? Um, uh, yeah. More specifically, are you sitting on the toilet? No. You zoomed me on the toilet while I'm at work. Is that a flush? Did you just... I can't finish these pumpkin seeds now. That was a big toe to feed three people. I mean, how big was that? And guy? who's got it? Somebody's got it. Like you have it, I think. And how come he it's didn't like love the other people? It was just the one dude. Yeah, how come it was just the one dude? I'm not gonna lie, you put on a little rosemary. And why did know. he haunt him through the dining room? What's happening in like the dining room? Is it like pickled, pickled pig's feet? That's disgusting. Well, I think so. That's disgusting. Maybe it's something my grandpa used to tell me. It was like a German weird, scary nightmare tale. I don't know. You know. I have an even more disgusting story. Okay. Just make sure okay. that it's nothing that's going to be on one of these shelves because I've heard it all. Well, um, this happened to me and it happened to my face. <laughs> um, when I was younger, I was in a Girl Scout troop and my mother took me, she was my Girl Scout leader with all of our friends to this cave. So we're sleeping in this cave at night. Like you would look up and there were bats. It was disgusting. I couldn't believe that we were even there. Everyone's sitting around making dinner. There's things dripping down the cave. I just cuddled up in my warm, warm blanket. And I didn't let anything in the room bother me. I woke up the next morning 
And my friend was like, you have a little bump on your face. I didn't know what it was. It was fine, but it was fucking disgusting. We went about and did some Girl Scout stuff for the day to get our badges, trust falls. And my friend throughout the day kept telling me, because she's a bitch, that it was getting bigger, the thing on my face. We're in the middle of nowhere. There's not a mirror to be found. So I go to, of course, my mother. She tells me there's a little bump. It's hard as a rock, though, to put a hot compress on it while we're sitting by the campfire and going to bed that night. I do that. I wake up the next morning to my friend telling me it is now the size of a golf ball on my face. It's hard as a rock. I don't know what to do. My mom tells me she has to take me to the doctor. This is it. She's pulling me out of this fucking camping trip. So we go to this bathroom. I am brushing my hair and I'm trying to get ready to go to the hospital. And I'm brushing my hair as hard as I can and the little teeth touch it. And a thousand spiders come out everywhere. <sighs> so that happened to my face. Your face but, the camera. Let me see it. Did that really happen to your face? I was I was Mother Earth for a thousand baby spiders. Well, I must tell you, if you ever need a derm dermatologist for it, and my uncle Jebediah, he had a goiter like that. It was on his neck, though. True story. Bat cape. So, do you just put makeup on and cover it up, or it just went away? It went away. Oh. They were Ugh. overnight babies? It took three days. It took three <laughs> days total. My friend said it was glowing at one point. Ew. Are you arachnophobe or officially? Or? Oh, I thought we were supposed no. to tell scary stories. This is just disgusting. Blech. It is disgusting. Blech. I have a song too. Can I sing my song? It's 20 seconds. Okay, you ready? Wait a song? I want to okay, hear ready? <clears throat> Every morning at half past eight, I open my window, stick out my head, and say ooey ooey oo to Georgie. Every morning at half past eight, he says ooey ooey oo to me. Then one morning at half past eight, I opened my window, stuck out my head, down came the window, off came my head. Ooey, 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 said Georgie. My mom used to sing that to me when I was a child. Horrifying. So scary. You ever no. need a good doctor for slices like that, let me know. <laughs> it's only funny because it's true. <laughs> well, I have one that's not so gross, but I got to keep it down because I'm awake right now, okay? Is that okay? I'm gonna tell you why I work in this environment, why I put myself through this. I need to be surrounded by hard walls. You know what I'm saying? Hard walls. You don't know what I'm saying until I tell you the story. Listen, my sister and I, when we were younger, my mother got remarried. We went up north. We went to this place called Skills Lake. You didn't have to have skills to be there. We go there, we move into a cabin. We got the new dad, we don't really like him. I bring my Polaroid. <laughs> I love my Polaroid. We go, we walk around the lake. I take pictures of my Polaroid. My sister and I, we connect over the Polaroid, right? So then we're in this cabin in the woods and we're there and my sleep, go to sleep with my sister. She's sleeping in the same room because, you know, my mom, she didn't remarry well. We're sleeping in the room together and we hear tip, tip, tip. It's not the good kind of tip. Tip, tip, tip. Like, what is that? Tip, tip, tip. All night, tip, tip, tip. But just just a little bit and then we fall asleep and then we wake up all night to keep us sleep deprived it felt like you know so we think it's this big ghost and we go to our parents and they say tap 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 all night tap 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 my mother says she said, i'm gonna call the previous owners i'm gonna call them and get a refund and she calls the previous owner she said oh no but we had a rodent problem before we left we meant to tell you i'm sorry it's a lake it's summertime it happened oh my god oh my we got a oh jebediah we got a rodent problem 
All right, so a week goes by, no taps, so we're fine. We go on, we go out, we go around the lake, my sister and I connect, we take Polaroids, right? And we come home one, one afternoon from lunch. You know, my mother hadn't found stable employment yet. She was relying on the half feet, you know, and he wasn't really doing that well. Plus it's summer, plus it's winter, plus who knows what he was doing because that marriage didn't last very long. And we come home and the food's missing. There's food missing. It's like a casserole, it's half a casserole. My mother blames me, but I blame my sister. My sister blames me. My, we blame each other. And everybody knows where the food goes. The food's missing. Everybody's mad at each other. And then starts the infighting. And we go to sleep that night. We wake up. Tap, tap, tap. This is right after the food ends. Tap, tap, tap. I'm like, is someone messing with us? Someone messing with us? Are there ghosts here in Skills Lake? Are there ghosts? I'm going to catch it with my Polaroids. So here's the thing. I only take five Polaroids a day. I count them, you know, because I'm I got a brain. I got an OCD thing. I, I count. I count everything. So I take five pictures a day. I'm hoping I might catch the ghost, right? So the next day we go out. I take some pictures. We come back in from lunch. Half of the wedding cake is missing. I know for sure that it was not me. It was not my sister. I was with the whole time. I looked through my Polaroids. I don't see any ghosts. I think I'm going crazy. My sister's going crazy. Everybody's blaming each other. We got food missing. We got a casserole. We got a, we got a wedding cake missing. And now we got tap, tap, taps on it. Go to sleep that night. No taps. But everybody's mad at each other. We wake up the next day. Come outside. I go. I take my little Polaroids. But I remember having a dream about a Polaroid. I heard, heard it in my dream, you know? I heard it, I, I heard it snap, flash, flash, snap, snap, flash, flash, snap. You know, it's got two, you know, this is the 90s. It's got those you know, two, two settings. It's like, it can't be, you know? I go, I count my Polaroids. I've only got four to take that day. Someone took a picture of me. I go haywire over my sister. This for sure is my sister. This, I don't think this is a ghost. I know my sister got up in the middle and I took a picture and she's wasting my Polaroid. Walking around the lake, I come back. The other half of the cake is gone. And in its place is a picture of me on the Polaroid and my sister. No! Neither of us took the picture. My mother has a kaveshka. She calls the previous owner. She said, what's going on? This isn't just rats. What have you done to us? This is why this was such cheap rat. I'm moving out immediately. No, 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 there's no problem. You know, we'll have someone come in and we'll, we'll get rid of the rats. No, this isn't a rat problem. You sure there's nothing we need to know about? A couple days goes by, no tap, no food missing, no weird Polaroid pictures. And then the previous owners called. They say, actually, we didn't mean to tell you this. Our brother-in-law, right as we were moving, he got released from prison and we never changed the locks. He had been living in the walls, watching our family. The reason we know this is we call the cops. They go up into the basement, they find a sleeping bag. Not only was he messing with us, listening to our conversations, eating our food, he was watching us in the middle of the night, taking pictures with my camera. I never took another Polaroid after that Lake Skills incident ever again. And that's why I work in a library where I know what's behind these walls. I can hear <laughs> everything. Pumpkin seeds. Sorry. Wait, that is so didn't you see the movie Ghostbusters? How dare you. Because wasn't there a ghost in the I'm library? I'm not afraid of actual ghosts. I'm afraid of real people. I don't care if I see a ghost. I'm more afraid if I see a real person standing over me in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is uh -huh. anybody else hot? It's fucking hot. Cold. No. Hot. Very I'm fine. Cold. Oh, fall. So hot. I'm cold. Hot. I'm cold. Oh, right now, someone walks by my computer. They can see your bagungs. They, they can I see your begums. What? It's a bra. Okay, I, I have a ghost story. All right. If you guys want to hear it. Yeah, I sure. want to hear it. Not okay. too scary. My lights just went out again. God dang it. I'll scoot for it. You can't see my begums. Okay. Um, so once upon a time, there was a ghost. 
in a little town in Tennessee called Adams, Tennessee. And this ghost called herself Old Katie's Witch. And she haunted the Bell family who farmed in Adams. And she would do like, like torture stuff to them. She'd scratch their eyes out and mm. flip their lights off. And she could shape shift and turn into ravens and like dog creature things. And, and when the kids were sleeping, she would yank the sheets off the bed. And she really didn't like old man Bell. And she started making his mouth paralyzed and and she would like start haunting other people's farms around the town. And pretty soon everyone near the Red River was getting haunted by the Bell Witch. So yeah. here's the thing. She still exists. Shut up, shut up. And we're gonna bring her here right now into our campfire Zoom session. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know, so, guys. I don't know. I'm in a bathroom. No, I, I don't know. I, no. I'm really this scared. Is, this is what we got to do. We're going to stare into the mirror or, or the Zoom camera lens. Works like a mirror. We're going to stare into it. We're going to spin around three times. And in each time, we're going to say, I hate the Bell Witch. I hate the Bell Witch. I hate the Bell Witch. And then the fourth time when you're, fin you're finished with your third spin you're going to stare into the mirror and you're going to see her okay we have to okay. spin you have to spin and say i hate the bell i hate the bell witch but if i see my mother i got a lawsuit against her so we're going to have a problem well well is your mother i don't know what to tell you about that here we go are you ready wait wait is your mother a ghost you never know she took off with that old man okay all right, yeah, I'm ready. I hate okay, the here we go. That's what I said. One, Wait. I hate the bell witch. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. I hate the bell witch. 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 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I hate the bell witch. What happened? Laura, I think it's on. I think it's in here. Oh God, oh God. Okay, no, I'm cool, I'm cool. I think your power came back on. <sighs> oh, thank God, oh God, I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. Into I'm okay. Right when that happened? Maybe the yeah, bell witch made your power come back on. I don't oh, know, it. guys. We have a statue over one of the offices. I looked right <laughs> into his eyes. Is that the bell witch? Well, you know, it's, a, it's like a globe. I don't know if I can take any much more, guys. This is like crazy. Name is Fred. Well, wait, I haven't gone yet. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Well, wait. Keep it clean. What? Here's the thing. We never told stories as a kid on Halloween. But something scary happened to me the other day. Do you guys want to hear? Maybe. Okay. So, so I was, I was where Laura is in my house, in the bathroom. And, um, and, and I was really kind of stopped up, you know, and, uh, and I was sitting there and I was, I was pushing really hard, but, but I had read this, this article saying that, that if you, if you push really hard, that you can, that you can pop a, a, a blood vessel in, in your brain and, and you could die. And, and, and that was the scary part because I didn't want to, you know, die sitting on the, on the toilet, like Mama Cass or, you know, that would just be horrible. Cause at least Mama Cass was famous, right? But who am I? Anyway, so anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't coming out. So, um, so anyway, I, I got really scared and, and so I, I used my finger to kind of help it. 
And um, uh, anyway, it came out, and 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 I'm I'm still here. Huh. So um, anyway, that that was my scary story. I have a very good proctologist, very very well renowned. Oh. I think I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Oh, I have a great gastrointestinal doctor for that too. Why? Well, I think I just ate too much meat, is all. I've got to go. Okay. Was it good it to was see you, Sally? Good, good yeah. story. I liked your story. Um, so, same time next week? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I never wanted to be on be the walked. call in the first place. So, I, I mean, I'm good. Okay. Well, how about the next week after that? I mean, you know where I'll be, but I, I don't want anybody to call me at work, you know. Okay. All right, well, happy Halloween, everyone. Okay, well, bye.